One argument antinatalists cite is the suffering argument. This is probably the most simple of arguments for why it may be morally wrong to have children. The basic premise is that every sentient life has some level of suffering and so, therefore, it should be avoided. It may follow, then, that a parent is, at least in part, responsible for all of the suffering their offspring may endure over the course of their life. While some may protest that they are also responsible for much good as well, it must be said that doing good for someone doesn't justify doing harm to them. For example, if you slap someone and then give them ice cream, the ice cream doesn't absolve you of your wrongdoing. You are still culpable for the slap and the ice cream does not absolve you, for only the person can do that. These types of thought experiments have led to moral dilemmas like the big red button, which will be covered in this series. This argument is also similar to the asymmetry argument, due to its outline of the truism that pleasure does not necessitate or justify pain. This is obviously true when you take into consideration that some people find pleasure in causing harm to others, but this does not justify them in doing so. In conclusion, parents cause offspring suffering by having them, and therefore they have done something fundamentally wrong, regardless of what else can be said about their effort make it right. As always feel free to add to the conversation in the comments section and enjoy the rest of the series.